Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to take a look at a legendary pilot which gives you more damage for weapons that have a range of 800 meters and beyond. So, you know, what kind of weapons are we talking about here? We're talking about uh, Arbalist, uh, Ballista, Trebuchet, Geckos, Flux. I'm assuming Noricums and Zenits as well. Um, I know those weapons are <laughs> kind of trolling weapons, but they do have a range of 1100 meters and uh, of course the Tempest. So we're going to be running the Tempest uh, on the Behemoth here. Uh, with sharpshooter and speed shooter i think you know a combination of these three especially uh, should make this uh you know behemoth bull pretty deadly and uh, for those of you that uh, you know ask me to show you the uh, backstory and stuff uh, here you go so you guys can read up on that i'm trying to scroll here so that you can see all of it and i think that's it and in terms of the passive modules, so I am running two Thermonukes, um, a Last Stand, Shield Breaker. I've been running actually into a lot of Aries lately, so I'm going to use uh, the Shield Breaker to deal with that. And then uh, for my Beacon Runner, I have the Strider with the Candy Viper. Uh, this weapon actually looks pretty cool when you fire it. It looks like uh, snowballs. Uh, but we do have uh, Shredders on here. And then we have the uh, Fenrir with uh, Viper and Corona. I am running the uh, legendary pilot for the Fenrir. I'm going to be doing a video on this as well, which is actually going to be coming out tomorrow. So uh, if that kind of interests you, make sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that's going to be coming out tomorrow. And then we have the uh, Aljung with the Glacier Weapons and also the Ancient Tier with the Storm and Shredders. And in terms of my Titan, I'm going to be running uh, the Arthur. This time at level 75, uh, not max level with the rocket setup. But the main focus is going to be on the behemoth with, uh, in this case, the Tempest and especially this pilot over here. So, uh, yeah, let's hop into a game and let's see how we do with the setup. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you some, uh, you know, gameplay or action um, clips of the uh, behemoth. Maybe not with the Tempest. Maybe I might use the Trebs or something, uh, but I will be using... Uh, this pilot on it. So uh, yeah, let's hop into a game and let's see how we do uh, with this pilot Okay, so we've dropped in on carrier map and I've decided to start with the uh, strider first here We're just going to put some uh, beacon pressure on the center and the right side uh, This guy's in a low key, but you know what I can still hit him I'm uh, trying to can take him out that corrosion I think is gonna wear away at him here let's just move this way uh, once I'm out of this spot I will be dropping in with the behemoth uh, not sure how it's gonna work like on this map though because there's not a lot of open areas um, I have to I guess play the sides but I'm gonna try to see if I can make it work Focus on the Ao Jungs here. It's more the Ao Jungs you have to be careful of when you are in that uh, behemoth build. So uh, that's why I'm trying to put as much pressure on, you know, all these Ao Jungs here. And uh, let's drop in with the behemoth. So I'm going to play the open areas. Uh, one thing you got to be very careful of uh, with this build is getting within I would say about five six hundred meters especially um, because if they have a if they have a guy with um, Ao Jungs he can actually get to you pretty quick so I'm playing my range right now I'm not sure what I'm shredding up back there but it's taking quite a bit of damage and I see weapons popping off so that player is almost down what is that I think that's a Leo I knocked all his weapons off though. Let's try to get this guy. Oh wow, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to back up here. Because I saw him going to flight, I thought he was actually gonna attack me. Um, there is a player here that I can probably get. And I found like this build is actually very deadly on like Yamantau, you know, all the larger maps. Extremely deadly, but on a map like this with a lot of cover, just use a shield breaker on, I think that's an Ares or something back there. Let's 
just hit this uh, titan also these weapons are very good against the Arthur so you know if you run into a lot of Arthurs you want to run uh, Tempest and Avengers because they all do more damage to physical shields just trying to play the side here you can get this guy um, he has his shield up I think that was a bit of a waste. I was hoping he would actually move a little bit to the left side, but he ended up uh, going to the right. And I might be able to shred him up still. He is within that range. My uh, team's actually getting pretty aggressive here. I have to be careful of that too. You can get within range here of this guy. You shield breaker. I should be able to get him. There we go. And this guy. And this one here too. Yeah, we're putting a lot of pressure on the other team, but like I said, you gotta be very careful of doing that because you end up burning up uh, all your bots. And we still have like five minutes left still. Uh, that guy's got a shield. Can probably go for this guy. Oh shoot, you know what he's doing? That's smart. He's firing over that barrier thing, so I can't hit him. Let me just back up here. I'm trying to get a good shot on some of these guys. If I can knock down shields, it's really good as well. Okay, so we're at the five minute mark here and these guys are marching in. I'm just waiting to reload. Notice my team, we only have like four guys here. Let's do this. Let's try to take this uh, Falcon down here before he can capture that beacon. And we also have that Titan. Let's try to work away at that Titan. Uh oh, we're down to three players now. No, four. Still in good shape. I'm just waiting to reload here before I try to mow down some of these titans. Um, same at this guy. I'm on reload, so I gotta wait here. I'm not too worried about the beacon uh, bars yet. I know it's three versus five, but uh, we still have a beacon bar advantage and they still haven't got that beacon whoop let me just focus on this guy Titan Slayer. and this one here as well let me just reload i need to reload quick let me just get out of here move this way it's four versus four here just move that way So they have the uh, center now. This guy, he has his shield up. Um, let's get this guy. And this one here. And they should be able to take me out now. But that was an extremely good run there on a map like this. Uh, with that, I'm going to bring out my Titan now and... Uh, Trying to defend here against these guys. Um, where is this guy? He is within range. We're going to use that to uh, knock him into his last stand. And uh, <laughs> I said, I said that guy flying. I don't know if you saw that. Whoa! What the heck? Did he just vaporize? Where did he go? Oh shoot! I sent him into the. I sent that into the ocean? Is it just me? That guy, where did he go? That guy, I sent him flying into the ocean. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. We need to get like another beacon fast here though. This guy has his shield up for quite a while. Um, oh wait, is this the guy? I thought I sent that guy flying. He tried to hell dive me and then I used the ability on him. That was so funny. Oh shoot, this guy almost took a swim too. <laughs> oh man, this is funny. 
That's why I like the author. Uh oh. Activate! Oh shoot! I pushed him back. He's gonna suppress me though. I'm still defending it. It's now three versus... Three versus four. We actually still have a beacon bar advantage. I will get more serious once I'm out of this, uh, this Arthur. I'm just trying to stop this guy here. I hope I have enough uh, time though. Um, let's see if we can try to stop this guy. I'm gonna do this, um, and come on now. No, 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 no. Did that not kill him? I think it did. Um, let's drop in here with the Fenrir. I hope my uh, teammate can hold that. We are actually technically still winning. I'm gonna move in here and just help out. Let's take out this guy. Um, how much time do we have here? I'm just gonna duel it out. I'm wondering why he didn't use his shield. He forgot to use his shield. Forty second. Yeah, he didn't put his shield up. You see that? I think he forgot to put his shield to the front there. But man, that was a funny game. The uh, Mercury trying to hell dive me, and then I activated my ability. I think I sent him flying off the ship or something, but it looked like that, anyways. But uh, yeah, really good game with that behemoth. Um, let's take a look at uh, you know how we did with the Tempest. So, jeez, uh, we end up doing uh, four, um, almost 4 million actually 12 kills 2 beacons and uh, let's take a look at uh, you know my teammates so this player also in champion league and uh, this guy is running the following uh, robots and weapon levels and uh, there's the titan and as for the other team let's take a look at uh, you know what they are running uh, this guy also in champion league and uh, this guy is running the following robots and weapon levels there's the Titan and his teammate. Let's take a look at uh, this guy over here, also in Champion League. And this guy's running the following robots and weapon levels. And there's a Titan. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the honor points for this game. And uh, there you go. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a couple of action clips uh, with the behemoth, uh, you know, the Tempest, and I might throw the Trebs or possibly the Flux. I think probably the Trebs uh, so you guys can see, you know, how much damage, uh, you know, such a setup can do with this pilot. And I think that about wraps everything up. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later. Try to take out this guy and just drop back down here. He is hitting me with some corrosion. Jeez, these guys have a lot of Aljungs. Whoa! <laughs> Let's move this way. Just reload. Oh shoot, these guys actually got a home beacon here. So let's try to see if we can take out this guy. And this one here too. Good grief, that's crazy. Let's shred this guy up. <laughs> he's, he's wondering, what, whoa, where's that damage coming from? Ah! <laughs> Let me move back. That's the downside to these weapons, you have to have that reload. Try to get this guy. Man, these weapons are brutal. Let's drop that down. I'm trying to get out of here, we need to heal up a bit more. Let's do this. Try to take out that uh, Ao Jung here. And this guy will use uh, Shield Breaker on him. 
This uh, Aljung is actually getting me pretty good. Let's do that. Uh oh. Yeah, I see there's a guy back there. He's trying to get me. Jeez, look at his health. I think I might have to drop down here because this is like kind of dangerous. <laughs> Timber! <laughs> Let's take out this guy. Whoa, we're going to be able to take out all of these uh, titans here. So let's focus on this guy. My last end has only been triggered now. Titan Slayer. Let's get this guy. Uh, we can actually get this one here. And this one. He is going to take me. No, he's not going to take me out. Titan Slayer. Better reload here quick. They might drop another one over here. I'm just waiting. I'm going to use Shield Breaker on this Ares. Wow, take a look at that. Okay, so we've dropped in with the Behemoth Treb here. And I'm going to try to see if I can take out some of the Al Jungs and stuff. So we managed to take out uh, that guy. Let me just wait to uh, charge up here. And I should be able to hit this guy. Uh, almost took him out. Jeez, how many guys are there? There's so many players at center. I'm going to just wait until my trebs are charged up here. Um, they have an Aries just waiting for the trebs to charge up max. Let's hit this guy. Oh, wow. That's like 90% of his health right there. I think I even knocked a weapon off. Uh-oh, I made him angry. Double kill. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what does this guy have? Why is he so close? I don't want to... You know what? I might as well just hit him because he is in a fangs up. Let's get half his health. The problem here is the fact that... Come on, guys, save me! <laughs> save me! Oh, shoot. This is a thing. I've got to make sure I keep my distance. And... No! Ouch! But uh, this guy's going to get this beacon, and I hope my teammates are here. Someone hasn't dropped in yet. Oh, shoot. Is he going to save me? I have to wait until my cribs are charged up. So let's do this. Because he's going he's gonna to fly soon. He's going to try to take me out. Um, if he doesn't fly... Got him. Oh, jeez. Thank goodness my teammate was here. So thank you very much to this player in front of me for uh, protecting my behemoth. And I'm just waiting to have this uh, charge up all the way. Um, I think there might be... There might be a Loki or something at center here. Let's get him. Let's just back up here. You know what I'm kind of curious is how much damage does four trebs do uh, when you hit a titan? I mean, this guy is almost down. Let's just wait until we are fully charged. And there we go. Oh, wow. That didn't even take him out. That's interesting. 